History of Pink Shirt Day. It was nearly 15 years ago at a school in Nova Scotia, Canada, when two students, Travis Price and David Shepard, heard that a younger student was being bullied for wearing a pink shirt to school. Instead of standing by and watching it happen, they decided to step up and do something about it. They didn't know what to do immediately, but came up with the idea that if they were pink and got other people to wear pink, that the bullies couldn't bully everyone. So they went and bought everything they could find that was pink, tried to encourage their friends to wear pink, and their friends' friends to wear pink. And next day, out of 1,000 kids, 850 students wore some kind of pink. And from there, Pink Shirt Day started. Almost 13 years later, their act of standing up to bullying has grown into a worldwide movement called Pink Shirt Day. Bullying has changed even in the last 13 years. With the evolution of cyberbullying, but the message has stayed the same. It's about helping one person. We have to be upstanders and look out for those who have been treated badly and not stand by and let it happen. We have to make sure that everyone understands that, there's, that there are safe places to go and talk, that there are people out there that want to help them. Pink shirt day is important, but it is more important to understand that it's not just about the shirt. It's about the everyday actions that you make. It's the choice that you make, and it's the person wearing the shirt that makes those choices. It's asking people how their day is. And asking people if they need to talk about stuff. It's standing up for what is right. Even when no one else is looking. 